All right, the next one is Josh Barnett had asked the UFC to release him from his contract, and apparently, according to Josh, that they went ahead and did that, so he's no longer with them anymore. Love it. Why wouldn't they? And what are you going to do, hold the guy? First of all, with the USADA stuff, you fuck him for some of the most important years of his career, and then, and then nothing. Not a sorry, not a yeah. no compensation. The UFC doesn't say anything, so it's just, it's just not right. And he goes, I cannot in good uh, conscience trust them to act in good faith, or perhaps may even wish to look into and tax some sort of vengeance and attempt to cancel out my victory against them in ar- arbitration. It's not that kind of environment that I want to spend the final years of my career. Yeah, I agree, Josh. He's all about that USADA thing. That's the main reason why. Hell yeah. Living. It's some shady. Like, you got to remember, just because it's USADA, oh, it's all legit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some shady stuff <laughs> going on there, fellas. Shady stuff. Yeah. Politics a motherfucker. Especially on the blacklist, like a Josh Barnett guy. Cerebral dude. Smart, smart dude. Shout out to Brendan Sharp. Shout out to Chin. Shout out to Below the Belt. Huge fan. Subscribe. Um, Now, let's get this started. Josh Barnett, man. Um, I saw the last bit of his career. I won't lie. That dude is a monster. Um, Despite the fact that each time I saw him, he lost. Despite that, I think he's a phenomenal fighter, man. Um, uh, I heard about his uh, issues with USADA and his general issues with the UFC, man. I, I don't understand why, if we are willing to co-sign USADA the way we do in the sport, why aren't we willing to discipline USADA? Because they, they, they've literally published fake not fake but misinformed information about a test that they still have the results to and basically they screwed him over man i don't i don't understand why we acting like usada gets it right all the time let's not forget one of the greatest to ever do it john jones he's still out because usada caught a piece of terreno ball in his body right they still can't tell you where that terreno ball came from they don't know how he ingested it nothing you know and let's not let's also not forget yoel romero and robert whittaker robert whittaker recently said that there are holes in how usada tests people there are holes in the general system to how they get tested right if there are holes to how they conduct these tests, don't you think that there are holes within the test itself? Don't you think that maybe it is 99.9% accurate? And Josh Barnett, he was the 1% that got it inaccurate. That one time they tested him for something and it came out hot, they were wrong. You know, but no apologies were published, no no remuneration, no apology checks, no NDAs, no nothing, man. And that is really sad to me because this guy is a legend. He will go down in MMA history as one of the pioneers of the UFC, actually, you know. I, I don't think how they treated him was anything other than disrespectful. And I'm glad that he got to leave the and to say his piece, you know, because we all know Dana White and the UFC, they just look out for themselves, man. And to assume that they're going to look out for a fighter, I don't know what world you're living on, but that never happens. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Hey, you guys talk too much. And you know what's interesting? I understand how crazy power UFC PR machine your guy, beginning of the year, he cut like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. Hey, the, 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 you know, guys, this is true. This is not trash talking. Hey, guys, Irish, only 6 million. Russian, 150 million. I want to fight for your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division.